Conservation Commission, Town of Deerfield. 525-17, members present. Ben Byrne. Steve Barrett. Louis Mission. Brian Dunack. We do have one member, Matt Ainsworth, who is absent. Um, we have before us several RDAs we want to work on, a couple of other pieces of normal paperwork. First one on the list, is it? it is 704. Mm. First on our list is a, an RDA for 199 Stillwater Road for replacement, removal and replacement of an existing septic system. So if you'd like to come up and give us an overview. <laughs> Um, well, do you want the plans here? I've got another set of plans. Well, we have the plans, which we... Uh, basically, the overview is we are um, replacing the existing septic system. It does have to... You sit down if you'd like. It does have to... And, and your name again? My name is Tim Viles. Um, I will be purchasing the property. I'm representing the property owner. Um, Basically, we're going to have to cross the intermittent stream behind the residence um, with a 10-inch pipe. I did um, call the inspector um, or the, uh, the engineer, and you did say that you wanted some information on um, what was going to support that pipe going across. Yes. Um, he hasn't gotten back to me yet. Um, so I do not have an answer on, you know, what his plan is there. Um, it's his foundation for the house. <clears throat> The, this is the, the pipe going over that. Yeah, there's the, uh, the yeah, yeah. So I'm thinking. So they're going back quite a ways. Yeah. I'm thinking there should be something here and there to keep that from settling down in. On either side of the ravine there? Yeah. On the pipe? Because basically ground moves. Yeah, absolutely. And this is for, as much for your protection as it is for ours. Yep. Um, what is your time frame? Well, um, I, we're pushing up against the um, having to purchase, extend our interest rate um, on the loan. So July, or I'm sorry, June 9th is that day that we'd like to have the property transferred by. Otherwise, it's going to cost us quite a bit of money um, with the lender. Um, I can get an answer pretty quick as far as if we're going to add a footing to there, um, but I understand that's probably going to require another meeting. I would think so. And I'd, I'd like to, to, what's going to be done is what needs to be done. So I'm on board with, you know, if we need to get a footing in there, certainly um, I can relay that to the engineer. Um, we can put a condition on this. I mean, obviously, you have to have a septic system. Yep. That's just, that's, and in the past, we've never rejected 
an existing septic system repair or replacement because frankly it would take away any value to your home if we said no right it wouldn't be a home it would be a building right um, we can put conditions on it if we so choose that before the installation of this pipe that there have to be put footings of some sort. Now, we're not engineers, so we can't, but footings of some sort that are acceptable to the Board of Health. Okay. That are installed on upwards of either of the siltation fencing. Right. Okay. That gives us an option there. What do you think, Brian? Uh, we need to do something there, but I wanted to see that plan. I have another copy if you want to. Okay. Uh, Yeah, basically, what you want to make sure is he's talking the footing, but you put that footing in, and then you would anchor, anchor the you know pipe over the pipe, the yeah. so there's no chance of it moving, you know, breaking, then it's, you know, right. dumping into the stream there and stuff, yeah. I mean, and and it's to protect you too. Oh, absolutely. I mean, I mean yep. you know, so it, it's a, it should be a fairly easy. Footing of some sort, Absolutely. and then you just put a rod over it, you know, to anchor right. it or like strap a two it. Foot, two foot footing. A couple with, straps, you know, to go over the pipe to hold it. Right. You could put like lag bolts in the footing and mm -hmm. kind of yeah. bolt it down to the. Yeah. Anyway. However, that you know, he, your engineer there. Uh, yeah, Sean Kimberly's the engineer on it. And, um, but that would be, you know, that would yep. help you too. Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, you don't want that moving and. Like you say, then you're back in there digging and going through this yeah, whole process to repair it and stuff. Yeah. Yep. Oh no, I, I, I completely agree. We can do that in the conditions? Yeah, we can on a negative three, we can add the conditions that we choose to add that are reasonable. And I think under the under the circumstances. Some we, type of footing anchor, yeah. Yeah, that's acceptable to the the building inspector and the board yeah. of health. So, let's, how do we want to word this? Uh, installation approved or of yeah. footings Footing. that are inspected and approved by the building inspector yeah. and the board of health. Yeah. How's that? Prior to construction. Footing and, and uh, anchor support or something for the pipe. Suitable footings. Negative three. Okay, installation of a suitable footing installed before construction and inspected and approved by the building inspector and board of health. Pipe to be securely fastened to the footings. Sounds good. Negative number three. I'll second it. Aye. Aye. 
Yep. <clears throat> Well, it wasn't simple, but it's done. Perfect. <coughs> wow, everybody's got pins. All right. Well, you did good. It's a, it's a well-prepared board. Okay, thank that you very set. much. Okay, thank you very much. All right. All right, next on our agenda, we have an RDA from Ty and Bond representing Eversource for maintenance work done off of McClellan Farm Road and uh, River Road. Katie, if you'd like to come up. Hello. Um, again, my name is Kate Wilkins with Ty and Bond. I'm here on behalf of Eversource Energy for a structure replacement project. Um, they plan on uh, replacing existing structures off of River Road and off of Old Albany Road. Um, the specific structures are uh, 36106 and 36104 off of Old Albany Road and structure 36067 um, off of River Road. So we went to River Road today and saw that site. Um, the project itself involves um, the installation of gravel access roads and work pads to the structures that they're working on and around the structures that they're working on and um, the replacement of the existing structures in the general vicinity of, um, so about five to 10 feet away from the existing structure. Um, obviously they can't install it in kind, so uh, it's kind of right in that same vicinity and they consider that a replacement. So the actual replacement of the structure is, is the exempt activity um, under 10.022A2. It's all in the regulations here. Um, and I'll have a cover letter that's been updated. And, um, but the actual installation of the work pads and the, and the roadway is what's not exempt in buffer zone. So the actual installation of the, of the work pad is what we're permitting. Um, oh, geez. We submitted the initial RDA with work off of McClellan Farm Road that involved work in Riverfront area, but per conversations with DEP. We've um, rescinded that portion of the RDA and have submitted additional, an, an updated narrative and WPA form. Thank you. Uh, so that has all the details. It, it has all the details that the previous um, application had. Um, it just take, took out every reference to McClellan Farm Road, work in Riverfront, any of, the, any of the work associated with structure 36066. Um, so the, the Eversource has been putting forth an initiative to install uh, gravel access roads and permanent access so that they can maintain their structures more efficiently and uh, if there's ever any outages, get to them to solve the problem, mm -hmm. to restore power and kind of get the lights back on. Um, the size of the gravel work pad will generally be 150 by 150. The one off of River Road's a little bit different because we can't kind of make it as square, so it'll be a little bit more of a rectangle, as we had pointed out, um, just because we can't work on the back side of the structure because of that steep slope. Um, due to the fact that most of the work is going to be live line, they need a lot of equipment, as we went over. Um, on site, multiple bucket trucks, robotic arms holding the lines while the crews are working in the bucket trucks, cranes lifting the structures, placing everything in. Um, they have the drill rigs digging the holes, putting the caissons in, um, and then they put the structures in the caissons. I don't believe these are going to be concrete foundations, so it'll just be a caisson in the ground. Well, one of the issues we have is that we don't have the proper determination forms because the forms that we did get printed out were not for they were for the original okay. submission so we really can't sign off this evening on it okay but um, I don't know what do you guys feel on it yes yeah. All right, so what we'll do is we will get 
the proper paperwork and we'll get that signed off by the four of us. Okay. Can you close the hearing and then issue the negative determination? Well, uh, yeah. Okay, and then sign the paperwork? Yeah. Okay. So I would think that that would also be a negative three mm -hmm. with the condition that everything is installed as per the plan submitted by Ty and Bond. Second. Mark. Aye. Aye. Mark Aye. Simpson also wanted to include uh, Category 5 as well. Yes, so, for the exempt work. Yep, with yep. citing that exemption. That's right on the um, front page of the request, or the cover letter. Yep. 310 CMR 10.02, 2A2. Yeah, he was very adamant about that, actually. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and there's no sense ticking off the state. No, no, we're trying to try it's to avoid that. It's not good business. And so we will be coming back to the commission um, with the notice of intent for the work in Riverfront area mm -hmm. off of McClellan Farm Road. We're hoping to get that notice of intent in as soon as possible to get the work moving forward. Okay. All right. Well, thank you very much. We'll get this paperwork put together as quickly as possible, get it signed off on, and... Uh, We'll move on well, from this there. This is just River Road, right? Yes, and, and yeah. Old Albany. It, it's okay. included. Okay. And Stinson did review all the work, sure. so. <laughs> Thanks. Thank you very much. Okay, thank you. All right, next up is we have an RDA submitted by Bob Decker the fourth for a wetlands, for potential wetlands issues on River Road. Bob, if you'd like to, there you are. How are you? So if you'd like to go over the, the plans quickly, we have your, thank you for, whoop. <coughs> thank you for getting this to us. Yeah. So we did the site visit this afternoon, now this eve, early this evening, and if you'd like to go over what you're proposing, Bob. And yeah, as, as I laid out here on the sketch on the plot plan here, you know, basically an area where we, we were pro proposing the septic to go and, and the house area and where the driveway would go, and we're trying to stay away from the brook as much as possible there, um, kind of around 50 feet with the with the structure um, the driveway kind of within 25 feet I would say um, if you guys didn't like the location of the driveway I could could move it over to the you know 50 foot area to, to accommodate the rivers you know the protection act some more if you, if you wanted you know it seemed like it was the best to keep some trees in front of the house and such and you know keep some of the the woods the way it is Well, I think the biggest issue we have, Bob, is that it's such a small lot right. that even if this were intermittent, it would still be jurisdictional. And I mean, if it's a, if it's a perennial, that's a 200 foot. Yeah. Well, the um, the lot, you know, is it's a grandfathered lot. You know, it predates the you know Rivers Protection Act on that. I guess what I what, what I would say is that to build on this lot, and this is my opinion, I don't know what other board members' opinions, that frankly you've got, you're probably going to have to file a notice of intent because it's just too close yeah. to a stream. Yeah, because um, I brought my... Um I believe that's uh, Kathleen Bridges. She called me to do the yes. septic plan, and I said, Doc, let me you square this away. <laughs> 100 by 100, I said, do you have the well? And he told me he had the water, because if you yeah, didn't have water, we have the two feet. Yeah, so we have the water from the railroad to help with that matter, um, supply from Greenfield. And, you know, we're trying to, you know, we can try our best to stay away. We can slide the driveway over and try to stay you know, the 50 feet away from 
you know, the brook there, um, you know, and try to accommodate that as much as we can here, you know. Um, I don't know. No, I understand yeah, that. If you guys not, need a I'm notice of intent, your... if you need a notice of intent, you know, I understand, you know. But if there's, you know, any way to avoid that, that'd be great. I don't know. What do you think? I don't think there's any way to avoid it. No. I mean, it's not even a lot. It's not even surveyed, so that could move everything. Yeah. Potentially there's, jurisdiction. there's nothing, you know, there's no guarantee. It's that, like that he's got it there. drawn with the. We've walked, we've walked it and, you know, we've kind of laid out that area. Um, but that's not a survey block. Right. Right. Yeah, you just guess it. Right. right. I, well, they had their monument in the corner, and I took the, the big tape and marked off 50 feet and went from there with all my markings, you know. The two things that I kind of like to see him do, because I told, I did, I did tell you, you may have to show a notice yeah. of the day, um, get the wetlands delineated. Because I wouldn't even want to go in there to do the. Oh, I think that would be part of the notice of intent. Well, it yeah. would be anyway. Yeah. Yeah. But I, I wouldn't go in there with a backhoe without knowing to just to do a perk test. I and wouldn't take a backhoe on the property right. at this point, yes. Right. So I told him I would give him the names of Bill Luttrell and Ward Smith. I generally They're good work guys. with them. Get it delineated. I wouldn't go in to do a perk test until it was delineated to see if we could get in there. The other thing is, is both of these can explain to you what a notice of intent is and give you their thoughts on what you can do with that. I'm trying to keep him from spending too much money. Oh, absolutely. I certainly yeah. understand the, that. The minimum to find out if he can do what he wants to do. Um, yeah, we're just looking to build a house, you know, it's not too, I don't think it's going to affect the community too much. Well, yeah. no, but yeah, the, the wetlands, wetlands have yeah. to be yeah. protected. Yeah. It's so. the law, Bob. Yeah. We don't yeah. have any option. Yeah. So this would definitely be, he files a notice of intent with when we get everything together. Mm -hmm. I mean, I wouldn't even have him go and survey it until he knows whether he can. I right. mean, we're trying to put the smaller things down. Yeah, Dick just wanted to see what you guys w would like to do, you know. And once the delineation is done, it would be nice to obviously do the park. As I mentioned, I did the one next door. They had a 60 minute per inch park. If he's got a 60 minute per inch park, he can't do anything with the rock. Um, would you like to know the delineation and stuff just to do a perk test to go on this property to do a perk. I don't know. What do you think? I wouldn't do anything without notice, but I, don't I know think if we can. That's personal advice, I guess. I wouldn't. I wouldn't turn shovel one. To be honest with you, without having knowing exactly one where 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 you are. Legally. Oh, no, I wouldn't go on there without the delineation. <laughs> and I wouldn't. And I'll reconfirm a few of his monumentations, but if it looks funky, I'm going to have to have a surveyor out there. Because I don't want to perk off your lot. Yeah. Well, I was going to say, uh, without knowing where the lot lines actually are, mm -hmm. I think that's right there, off the there's bat. A, but there's a stone monument I could. I, yeah, yeah. yeah. That doesn't tell yeah, us exactly. Yeah. yeah. It's a stone monument. Yeah. yeah. And if you're putting the septic back there, you're going to have to get a backhoe back there, mm -hmm. yeah. which means that there's no there's no road in there. Is We've there? walked walked it. Um, what, my, walking, yeah, but can you yeah. get a machine? Yeah, in there? I've spoken with my in-law, and he's an excavator. He, he pointed out the direction to get the machine in, what trees, you know, what little See, branches got to get cut. And you whatnot. still got a brook there. Yeah, right? yeah. So you start running a machine through there and tearing up. And you, if the brook, if this is accurate, to a certain degree. As this stream bends backwards, it's getting even closer to your septic area. So, I mean, yeah. I don't, I don't think there's any way around without going with yeah. the positive one. All right. The area described on the plans is an area subject to protection under the Act. Removing, filling, dredging, or altering the area requires the filing of a notice of intent. I think it's pretty cut and dried. What do you guys think? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Too close to proximity. I would say. Yep. 
Now, Bob, I will tell you, to be upfront with you, that if you don't like our decision, you certainly can appeal it to the DEP. I'll get you the phone number and name of the people to talk to. So that's an option that you have also. Yep. But I'm going to make a motion that we give the positive determination number one. Second. Aye. 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 Thank you, guys. Thanks, Bob. And that concludes the live portion of our night's entertainment. Let's see, that was an intense story. We did have on the agenda. A notice of intent for 247 Greenfield Road that has been, they've asked us to reopen the hearing and then continue it for, till uh, the June hearing because they have not yet finished their engineering for stormwater management. It's at the uh, uh, self storage place up yeah. there, the old yeah. lighthouse realty. Yeah, they had that dip right there yeah. on the side of the road there. And they have not finished, Ward Smith is working on it, but they have not yet finished. Uh, the work that needs to be done for the notice of intent. So they've asked us to open the hearing, which I'm doing right now, and then we vote to continue it till our June hearing. Second. Aye. 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 Will new notices be sent out? I'm sorry. Will new notices be sent out? Um. That hearing? No, because we're posting. We're. It's a continuation of an existing hearing. Okay. So That's June, the date I can give you the date. We'll give you the date right now. 22nd. All right. 22nd, you said? Yeah, yeah. that's the fourth Thursday. Minutes for review. Good, I'll, I'll move to accept it. Second. Aye. Aye. Yep. The other, one of the other issues that did come up the other day was that we approved the um, siting of the tower at the fire station. They have since then asked that they could change where they're bringing in the Powell to that. And in speaking to Stinson, his suggestion was it's not a significant change, that we should reference it in our minutes that we've looked at the change and we don't have a problem with it. So, I got the paperwork here.
Oh, sure. Excellent. Come on up. And I can answer any questions the commission may have. Yeah, please do. I actually have to introduce yourself. Sure. My name is Dean Gustafson. I'm a senior wetland scientist and professional soil scientist with All Points Technology. I'm here tonight on behalf of Silco Partnership doing business as Verizon Wireless. Uh, it's for the tower replacement at the, uh, the fire safety complex. Um, I have, I did take the liberty of um, highlighting the new utility route. If mm -hmm. I can hand those out to the commission members. Thank you. And this precipitated from a utility consult with Eversource, uh, where it was determined that the existing utility um, connection to the tower is a direct buried cable, which is no longer conforming or compliant with their regulations. So they said that um, if that service had to be disconnected for re replacement of the tower, they would not uh, reconnect it um, and would require new conduits be installed um, to utility pole um, that's close to the southwest corner of that wet detention basin. Um, so we've, the construction manager for uh, Verizon Wireless reached out to me, said that they'll need to uh, install that conduit, uh, and that precipitated me reaching out to Priscilla and you folks to, to request a minor, minor project change. Appropriate erosion control measures will be installed uh, along the utility trench to protect it from the uh, nearby wet detention basin. And if you recall, we had also proposed a wetland protection plan for uh, replacement of the tower. Uh, we'll be implementing that same protection plan to en encompass this new project area mm -hmm. as well. So we feel it'll be properly uh, protective of the resources. Well, having talked to DEP, it didn't seem they didn't have any issues with it. Yep. As long as we continued the same in the same vein as the original plan, that they didn't feel that the change was significant enough to require the filing of a new notice of intent. Right. We appreciate that. Actually. DEP, not us. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, so they've asked us to reference it in our minutes that we've discussed it and approved it without the filing of a new notice of intent. So, I'll make a motion we do that. I'll second. Aye. Aye. So you're good to go. Great. Thank you. I will update you on our um, anticipated construction schedule, and I'll if follow. You would. I'll follow up with an email to Priscilla, but they will, what they first need to do is install a wood pole uh, to temporarily um, transfer over the emergency services uh, antenna equipment. Um, so obviously we don't want interruption of that service. They're actually gonna start that work on Wednesday. Uh, they think it's only gonna take a day. The utility, the wood pole is going right next to where the existing um, equipment building is. So. They'll have uh, appropriate ENS control set up for that small work. The hole will be dug in a day, backfilled in a day, um, and then over the Thursday and Friday, they'll transfer over the equipment. Um, we've been given some other information as far as the tentative schedule for the remainder of the project. What I'll do is I'll follow up with an email to Priscilla, provide her with that information. Yeah, she'll forward it to us. Yep, and then once, so once they do that small work and, and transfer over the antenna equipment, um, probably the following week, maybe the week of June 12th, they'll actually get into doing some of the actual construction work, which will first start with installing all the erosion control protection measures. Um, we will keep you informed of when those are installed. I'll be independently um, inspecting those to make sure that they are, are installed properly. Um, we certainly would welcome the, the commissioner members of the commission to come out and 
perform an independent inspection as well, so we'll keep you apprised of that okay. schedule. Well, appreciate that. Yep, you're welcome. Okay, thank, thank, thank you, you very folks. Much. Right. Now, we do have a ZBA request for comment regarding wetlands concern for 707 Greenfield Road, where a special permit for an RV repair shop has been I we did that. submitted. That was the planning board, I think, the first one. Oh. Now, if I'm not mistaken, this is a building that we have been, we were involved in years and years ago. That was the kayak storage place. Was that? The kayak storage building, right? The mm -hmm. metal building? The upper, yeah. Right next to the old uh, antique shop. shop. Mm -hmm. So. I don't think we, I don't have. Our that. normal comment is usually no comment. No comment. But I'm wondering if we want to look at it, this particular one, that if in fact, they do need, if there are wetlands issues that are determined by the building inspector, because if I'm not mistaken, that swamp comes right to the base of that hill. You know? Behind the building? Yeah. I haven't been out there in 20 years. But I would like to, if we are going to make a comment that if in fact there are any wetlands issues that are observed by the building inspector, a board of health, or any board that's involved with it, that they at least file an RDA so we can get in there and take a look at it. What do you think? Do we have anything that's stating what he's doing there? Is, or is he going to change anything? Yeah, he's talking about doing some cutting and filling. And oh. I've watched a little bit on the ZBA meetings, and uh, I've talked to a couple of people on ZBA, and they've said that they they have some in, some concerns. So that's kind of one of those things that I think we should keep a keep an eye on, if nothing else. Yeah. Oh, sounds sounds right. Depends what he's going to be doing there. I mean, yeah. Right now, it's. It's a building. It's a building. You can't, you know. Got kind of limited information, so I mean. Yeah. So. As long as whatever scope of work is outside of the buffer zone, then. Yeah, I mean, if it's not jurisdictional, it's not jurisdictional. But an IDA is the easiest way to find that out. Yeah, if they're just asking for comment on the chains of use, I have no comment. But if there's yeah. work proposed. But if they're going to be doing some work back then. That's what they asked us last time was just for the change of use, right? Yep. Yeah, so really that's, uh, that's what they're saying is do you have any comments, wetland concerns, only if. So I would just say, yeah, if there's any wetlands concerns that they, before any work is done, they file an IDA with, yeah. so we can get in there and, because we can't obviously go on site without permission or a warrant. I, mean, I don't think a warrant is warranted. Probably not. Probably not. Sure. No, that sounds good. All right, then. And then we do have the signature page for Brian Ryder from last month, where we gave him a positive determination, but we didn't have the paperwork ready yet. That was uh, the old um, car dealership repair shop right on Route 5 and 10. So we do have the paperwork to sign off on that as a positive one that the area described in the reference plans is an area subject to protection under the act. Removing, filling, dredging, altering the area requires the filing of a notice of intent. So Priscilla did get us the paperwork.
Well, I guess that just goes to him. We already talked about it. So. Is it month? Last month. Yeah, it's month. Hmm? Positive one. Is that yeah. No, 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 I just I was just looking at the address and stuff, but that's uh Buried under this was the comments for the um, ZBA. So this is for that it RDA a minimum to be filed before any fill, altering, et cetera, of area within 100 feet of any wetland. Sounds good. Second it if we need that. And then we did have to actually file a uh, emergency certification this month. I got a uh, phone call at uh, 18 Conway Street. They were taking out uh, soil excavation in the immediate vicinity of a former leaking oil underground storage tank that was within X number of feet of the wetland. So we looked at it and off we went. We got a letter here from SWCA, Environmental Consultants. So went down and looked at it and it's 115 feet from Bloody Brook. So to cover themselves and to cover us, so we filed, yeah. I signed off on that. That's just kind of a housekeeping issue. And on our regular mail, we have National Grid with their yearly operational plan being submitted. Yearly operational plan for Pan Am Railroad and a draft priority map of rare species available for public comment on April 3rd through June 3rd, 2017 from the Division of Fisheries and Wildlife, National Heritage and Endangered Species Program. So that, you guys got anything at all? Yes, sir. Yes. I asked earlier today, put on the agenda tonight, and they said I could just come in if you have so you, you would be any business <laughs> not reasonably known 48 hours prior to the meeting. I told them 48 hours ahead of time that are going to come here. But I, I came to the other, the above others building the storage thing up there. His thing is going to, my thing is going to affect his thing too, I think. I don't uh, know what your thing is though. Okay. <laughs> it's the railroad. There's not much we can do about it, but they've, uh, they're changing my property into a swamp up there. The new ditches that they're building out back, uh, the back side of, this is the property across the street from the auction yard. That's the 250 Greenfield Road. The Gables. The Gables, the old Gables. Oh, okay. And I can't do anything with the brook because the Conservation Commission threatened to arrest me if I even move the lawn down there. So More than us. We haven't threatened to arrest Mr. anybody in years. Mr. Sokolowski, excuse me. Anyway, the railroad is dumping water from the present tracks in this new ditch that they're taking all this along. This is behind that berm that they put in? No, no, this is, it's not behind the berm. It's right at, on this side of the tracks, on the Route 5 side of the tracks. Oh, where they've been doing all the tree work? Right. Okay. All the trees down there, they're dug, digging a ditch along, and they're draining everything from their new facility all the way up through and 
they're draining everything up north down to my property here, it's ending up in, this is, this is where their new property is here, where they're building all the hot top and just paved all this. They're running all the water down to here and up onto, up the road. Okay. And there's nothing, I mean, what can you do? This the DPW, I mean, uh, the railroad. It's the railroad. Unfortunately, so much of what the they railroad, call, the electric, and the culvert on east that, that drains the north fields is all plugged up now too. And in my understanding, talking with surveyors the other day, they're planning to put a second railroad track in there before before cold weather. That's going to change the the drainage. That's again. I would think that would be a significant change. So essentially, I don't know what to do. I mean, and. This, if this water table changes, it's going to also change the water table on the other side of the street where they're building the storage units. I got nothing against the storage units, but the water's going to be a problem over there. Because that's, water's all going to end up on the far side of the street where the septic system is going to be, where my septic system is. And the septic system that, for the gables is going to be obsolete. It's obsolete now anyway, but it's going to be obsolete to renew because it's going to be, have all this water on it. I don't know what to, I mean, you got the first big rainstorm, I'm going to have two and a half, three feet of water on the whole field. The mm -hmm. culvert's plugged on the other side? On the, the culvert's plugged on, on my side. On your side? It's, yeah, it's just dribbling through there, but, but he's draining everything from up further up down. down. Morosky's property is draining on that property now, mm -hmm. the, the ditch, the way they dug the ditch. And the property to the south behind the auto dealership and where the hot top is in. Where's all the water from the hot top? That big parking lot they built is going. It's going to go right down to that ditch. It's the only place it can go. They built a berm, so it can't go on Route 5, but it's going to have to go back. It's got to go somewhere. And it's going to go down into, the, into this ditch. It's going to flood. Do you have a business card? No. Your phone number? 665-2877. Six, six, and you are? Douglas. Doug, Bill, 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 Bill. Douglas Auctioneers. How do you spell your last name? B-I-L-O-D-E-A-U. I'm going to call DEP tomorrow morning and see if I can get uh, get them up to take a look at this. Because the railroad is the railroad. They could be like a, an 800-pound gorilla. There's nothing you can do. It's just it's, somebody will be aware of these guys that are going to build this storage unit. They're going to have to be aware of it. Not now, probably, but at some if point. now, they're going to definitely be in trouble because Nothing's going to perk up there. It doesn't perk now, but anyway, with all the extra water in there. It's going to work. Yeah, so let me talk to yeah. DEP and see if we can get them to... Yeah, everyone's got to figure out what they're going to do with the water from the, that parking lot. So, yeah. It's going to back in the ditch and it's going to flood everything along And if they put the second railroad line in there... They're going to have to ditch that to keep the water flowing. Yep. And they're going to ditch that. They can't ditch it to the middle. They're going to have to ditch it. The other side. Yeah. And no matter which side they ditch it to, it's going to go down under my property. That brook that runs through there already holds. Yeah. Well, well, I wanted to, I wanted to stretch. Yeah, we got water. a letter from Magic and Megan pumping out right behind here, place. Right. I wanted to straighten that brook out, but they wouldn't let me. And the, the, the state highway is supposed to clean the that culvert there where the brook goes into. They'll clean that now once in 20 years I know of. So. Let me talk to DEP. Let me see if we can get, at least get the ball rolling yeah. and get, make them aware. Something that, to think about sometime we're right? Yeah. And what I'll do is I'm going to give your name and phone number yeah. to Mark Stinson down at DEP. Yeah. And at least we can see if, this, if there is some sort of yeah. remedy or relief for you. So yes, yeah, it's the train company. Sometimes is the case. Yeah. Anyway, the district, okay. you're aware of it. That it's going to affect all the property up there from on Hillside Road down. And I don't think the guy that the guy the car dealership across from here, he even knows the size of the pond up back this place. Yeah, I don't know. Anyway, that's my story. Well, we'll see what we can do to get the ball rolling yeah. for you. And at least get Almost make the like EP it, aware. Be somewhat of a swale there to begin. It was never like I'm not sure what we'll be able to do for you, but we'll, tr we'll 
this we'll see. Because this, this wasn't even here. How much of a hassle is for me to get that ditch dug out from the railroad to the Route 5? I think that's what I've heard. Have to go through a million kilometers. I thought they had two tracks from there. Right? It's, it's difficult. From I know. town, it's, it's difficult. They told me from if I could town plan all the way down into the road. Then you'd be a farmer. Towards the yard. <laughs> well, I mean, they still got two tracks up. That's what they told by, uh, Yeah, be careful what they there. say. They got two tracks all up through there. Yeah, I don't think there's two up, there. up the pine, no. pine nook. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And as far as the, the guy's building next door to me, I mean, he's, he's a really nice guy. Yeah, he seems to be a nice enough and guy. He's, he's placing, I do all the storage units in Western Massachusetts, and his is the cleanest and best place there is. All right, I'll, I'll be in touch. Thanks, Doug. So that's the business not reasonably known, 48 hours. We set a date for our next meeting, June 22nd. 22nd. With that, I'll make a motion. Unless there's, you guys have anything else? We haven't seen. I can't hear you, Brian. I'm sorry. We haven't seen any plans of the storage units that this, that the, that they're talking about. The plans are they submitted a request for determination initially. Yeah. But we, looking at it and talking to DEP, it became apparent immediately that it, they had to go to notice of intent. So. The, they're working on that now. They were supposed to have it for tonight, but wasn't ready yet. And the, the state refuses to issue the file number until they get all the information they need. I got an email from DEP today saying that no file number will be issued until such time as the plans are complete. Yeah, so, I, I can't hear. Next to me, just let you know. They're, they're planning to hopefully have something for next meeting. Hang on one second. They submitted a set of plans to, to, to put in. Yep, we do have plans. Proposed storage facility. If you want to come up and take a look at them, sure. Because yeah. we're pretty much seeing them for the first time, too, so. Here's what they want to see. The retention area. But this is a septic area here. The next plan will show the whole system they want to put in. So you've, you've seen these plans? Yeah, I photocopied them in the camera. I watched. I watched. I watched. I watched them. <laughs> Did you actually say that out loud? <laughs> I know what that property is. <laughs> so are they taking the now, existing buildings and ripping them down? Everything flat, right to the ground. Yeah, they're gonna so take out the lighthouse, take out the the, the I, existing building, I and replace. To, I thought you had to have somebody. Was it the existing? Was it sixty forty? Many buildings on that piece right. of property. As as see that it's all roughs. Yeah. Looks like it's too much roof. Space. I thought it was supposed to be 60 40 or something, wasn't it? 60 Well, that would be the yeah. building inspector would handle that. Yeah, it's like the this reti retention pond is going to dump back into this place back here. No, the detention basin shouldn't dump anywhere. Well, if you look on the plan, <laughs> if you look on, if you look on the plans, it has outflow <laughs> it fills up it goes into the railroad right. bed back here. Down the right. Brook, right. Which right. There's a railroad bed back here, and it's going to run back under. Well, property. this is why they're submitting an, the, right. a revised notice of intent because right. the state has an awful lot of questions. This is going to so how many feet away? Fifty foot from the wetland here. It's going to be twenty-five feet from the property line here. Yeah. Twenty-five from that side. I don't know where they go. 
it's a lot of roof. Just barely 20 acres. Yeah. 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 It's Give it. 24 right there, so there's a foot right there. So what is it? Yeah, 25. Parcel is it? See, looking at this, none of this is this isn't paved. This is trap rock. Yeah. That's still the water from there. Water from all, all, all the water from there's got to yeah. go somewhere. Yeah. And, and considering that, that that pumps 24 hours a day out of that out of the basement of that building, now has as long as I can remember. Water tables only. So a trap <laughs> rock is still <laughs> going in the ground, anyways. Well, and now we got the railroad running the water around right. this way. Well, that, that's the problem. It's going to flood the place. The brook is the brook, brook is, is too it's coming, coming over here. Mm -hmm. And then got magic trees. wings dumping it. That's mm -hmm. coming in this way. Mm -hmm. Oh no, he comes. He went across the road with it, then it comes back. Yeah, yeah. It comes back. Oh. Well, that's why they're doing the the plans that'll be reviewed by the state and. They're going to have a number of questions, and it wouldn't surprise me if and when that is done that we don't send it out for independent review ourselves. I'm not saying we are going to do that. Oh, yeah. There is enough. Let's dump it here and here. That's the problem. He dumps it here. So you get a five foot. Down. Yeah, basin, basin. it's a five foot deep. <laughs> that can fill up in 20 minutes over there. No, see, I don't know the conditions over there beyond driving by. But it's going to, if it dumps here, it's going to run this way. My parking lot, my whole parking lot is trap rock and it dumps this corner. You know it's what I would do? I would go and call some fill in your parking lot and pitch it back this <laughs> way. It's like the, the other guy did to us. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's the, what they do. The, the safety, yeah. You do know you're on TV. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't mention anything. You're on TV. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Anyway, um, my question I had to him is how he's going to get electricity in here because electricity now goes from here across. That's not, that's not how anywhere. Bailey works. That's not anywhere in his plans. For what I can see, book of plans. It's like way too many well, We don't do electricity, no. we do water. Yeah. You know. <laughs> they don't mix. Well, that's that's, yeah, they don't mix, right? Yeah, that's yeah. the last thing. This does go through when they put all this in. I'm trying to find somebody to support it. So that's that. So, so 20, 22nd of June, we'll have yeah. More yep. Same yeah. Same bat time, same bat channel. That's us. All right, thanks, guys. I just remembered Priscilla left me a little note there saying that the state refuses to sign. They won't even issue the file for this project. For this one? Yep. Well, that being all said, now I'm going to make a motion to adjourn. Second. Aye. Aye.